the growth of tourism, we are seeing more and more aviation activity. With more aircraft flying, our domestic operators are continuing to purchase aircraft, they're con continuing to invest, and as such we're seeing more operations on a daily basis. We have Mr. Marco Castellanos, he's an air traffic control officer grade one, and he's here working uh, approach control. He's responsible for all the aircraft within the Belizean airspace. This section here provides what is called um, approach services and, they, and we also provide flight information services to aircraft operating within the country from 2,000 feet to 19,500 feet. So all the aircraft operating within the Belizean airspace at that altitude, they would, they would call in to um, approach here on one to one decimal zero megahertz and they would, we would provide information as such. Traffic coming into Belize, Merida would be coordinated to us, Guatemala would coordinate to us, Honduras and likewise, and likewise aircraft departing from here, we would coordinate this information with them also. Many passengers go on these flights and they take these things for granted and they don't know what is happening. You know, we all have, and I myself have traveled many times and we just go there, we're just, we're just happy we're going somewhere. And we don't, we don't even think about these things here. All our decisions here when we're working here, roughly a decision needs to be made in about five seconds. So you need about two seconds to visualize a problem and then you have another three seconds to make a decision. In different countries, they have had major accidents. We have been fortunate that we haven't had any. The primary surveillance radar, um, in conjunction with the secondary surveillance radar, will allow for air traffic controllers to see all aircraft in our airspace.